up, YouTube? I'm here with Guitar Game Guy, aka my friend Josh. With special guest Adam Driver, aka Kylo Ren. Totally kidding about that. But we are here to talk <laughs> about Ultra Savers. So I know a little bit about these, but he has way more knowledge on these than I do. So I'm going to let you explain in more detail what these are. But we'll both give our take on it and what we think. So let's start off with the uh, first one we have, which is. All right, the so best one. This, okay, so this is not the best one, but this is just a comparison, really quick. Uh, this is something you can get at the Disney Store, Target, Walmart. Uh, yeah. Not too bad for you know a kid's toy. Um, I mean, it's it's not the best, but I mean it does. Uh, it's okay, I guess, but it does light up. The only the biggest problem is if you look, you can see the LEDs everywhere. Um, I mean, and here's one of the problems we found with it is we didn't. I. I hit it once, so uh, <laughs> we're going to take this and, and uh, possibly throw it in the garbage right now. Um, just kidding. Or give it's it a, away It's something. a nice little memorabilia. Uh, we're going to start off with uh, our prize possessions. Um, we've had these for about two weeks. Uh, we wanted to give them a test run, uh, give them some breaking in, so to speak. Uh, and just to see how durable they are, uh, we're really, really, really impressed with Ultra Saber's work. Uh, Emery and Corey, they do fantastic work along with all the other guys at Ultra Sabers. Mm -hmm. If you guys are watching, thank you. Uh, you guys have made uh, my childhood Star Wars dreams pretty much come true being able to own one of these. Um, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of detail. This is the Apprentice V4 LE. Uh, as you can see, it's aircraft aluminum. Mm -hmm. uh, nice AV switch that comes optional with lighting or not. We've got the nice little uh, Cover tech wheel and a uh, vented pommel. Uh, I have another pommel on the way. Um, the blade that you see on here is the Ultra Edge mid grade blade. Uh, it's perfect for light dueling, uh, light to mid dueling. You don't want to get too crazy with it. They are really durable. Uh, they bend slightly a little bit uh, under impact, but not too much. Um, it doesn't mess up anything. Also comes with the Ultra Sabers uh, film inside with the mirror tip so that you get full light all the way through. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut this bad boy on for you. Uh, if you have your volume up, you might want to turn it down just a little bit because it They're is pretty loud. loud. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so here it goes. So we've got uh, Apprentice V4 LE in Guardian Blue with the Ultra Edge Blade. As you can see, completely lit all the way to the tip. Um, and the glow that you see in the video uh, it, it's not as massive, but we do have a glow in person, yeah. uh, which is really nice. Um, it kind of looks purple, but when it's really dark, yeah, it so looks way better. You, let me give you an idea of how it looks. Um, see if the camera picks it up a little bit. Uh, I mean, it, it, it just, it's beautiful. Lights up the entire room. Uh, I mean, I mean, you can see it coming off of my face from right here. They're pretty bright. It's it looks like on the video, it practically looks like the real thing. So the coolest thing about this now, this one I opted for the V4 Obsidian soundboard. It comes with eight sound fonts already pre-installed. You don't need to do any installing if you don't have a computer or anything like that, which you obviously do if you're watching this video uh, or some type of uh, device. Um, it's got full motion, and you got the impact impact sounds and then you have your lockup and then you have of course your power down um, you also have the option to uh, switch the sound fonts actually on the saber mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and give you an example and uh, it's got a little power up with a shutdown and then you have uh, you'll hear a uh, notification that you're actually in the um, sound font mode so here we go. So that's the Obsidian sound font comes standard. It's probably one of the best ones that's on there. Uh, I know some guys have messed around on the forums and changed a couple things on theirs. Um, but uh, we'll go ahead and switch through a couple of them so you can kind of hear it. So the next one's going to be Black Star. You have your Sith sound. Ancient Saber. Episode 1. Episode 2, Episode 6, and your last one, which is probably the one that uh, I've been using a lot lately, 
uh, especially in quiet areas where you don't want to startle anybody um, or you just don't want to draw a lot of attention uh, in a workplace or anything like that is the blank sound font and uh, you'll get a little sound like this and then you simply just hold the button confirmed, confirmed and boom there it goes lit, lit up and you don't have any, you know, there's there's not really any difference between the sound and not sound besides it not having sound. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's that one right there. Next one is the uh, is Josh's, and I'm gonna let him show you his. Uh, he's got the Obsidian Lightboard, which just recently came out, which is a pretty cool option if you don't want to spend over, uh, you know, $250 for a lightsaber with sound. Um, and uh, here I'll let you do the honors since it's yours. Also in Guardian Blue, this is the uh, mid-grade blade with the Ultra Sabers film and mirrored tip, so you get light all the way through the blade. But I really like, it's called the uh, Dominix. Dominix, B4. And what I kind of really like about this is you can alternate. It's uh, between one hand or two hands. Or even three hands. as, as uh, you even know, even you three hands, to work, probably get four on there. Maybe, um, yeah. but uh... four small hands. <laughs> but what I like about about this, I mean, this has a different a a uh, a v switch than his Arcom. This just has the regular uh, like guarded switch. It also comes with the uh, belt clip ring right here. So we actually have oh yes one of these right here. All you have to do is just simply attach this onto your belt like so. Clips right on. You have your clip, boom. Now you've got uh, your saber right next to you at all times where you can, you know, move around. It's not gonna go anywhere. You have a nice belt on or something. It's not gonna go anywhere. You actually have to activate the release to take the saber off so nobody's gonna come over to you and, you know, jack your it. saber or anything <laughs> like that. So a uh, really cool feature to have. Um, also, too, on his, uh, if you if you take a look, the detail mm -hmm. on this, uh, I mean, it, it's it's insane. Like you cannot get material better than that. It's it's not cheap plastic. Like, listen to this. It's aircraft aluminum. Sturdy. Uh, sturdy. Like that is not going to break anytime soon. It, it, the quality. I cannot say this enough, guys. The quality of these sabers is phenomenal. Yeah. And the best part about it is you don't have to wait a millennia to get your lightsaber. Exactly. You can have your saber within anywhere from two to five days uh, if you ordered one. Um, I usually opt for the expedited shipping so that I can have it a lot sooner than that, mm -hmm. um, which is a nice option to have. Customer service, that's another thing. Um, Ultra Sabers has very, very awesome customer service. Emery, Corey, you guys are watching, thank you. We appreciate your service, your response time to our questions, uh, how knowledgeable you guys are with everything, um, and uh, even for letting us know that we can actually send this back if we wanted to mm -hmm. and upgrade. So if I wanted to do something like the Emerald Driver, or even lit up AV switch, it's not a problem. Send it back to them; they'll get me taken care of. Do it all that. Um, These also can come with like the windows so that if you want to put the blade into them, you can see part of the lightsaber come out of it. I mean, if I don't have this right now, well, I could if I wanted to, I could just ship it back to them and they can add them for just you know a little extra fee. I mean, they can also change. Uh, they could add extra sound into it. They could add the upgraded obsidian sound if they wanted to. They can change the AV switch. So. Any miscellaneous things, even the LED, they can change all that. And while we're on the LED, we actually got these uh, colored discs, which are pretty neat. I mean, they're really inexpensive, and they're really easy to set up. But they really don't come with instructions, depending on what type of saber <laughs> you get. So, But it's really easy to do, and if you want to try to figure out what colors you should make them, it's really kind of like a mad scientist experiment, if you will, because you just kind of have to mess around and see what works. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use a green and a uh, yellow, so green. And it's really cool because, um, I mean, these the color discs are meant for the Attigan Silver, yeah. uh, which is a pretty much almost white LED, um, but you can still use them on your Guardian Blue or your Consular Green. Um, it, it slightly changes the color, so if you weren't initially satisfied with the color you came, it came with, uh, I mean, you can just throw a little disc in there. 
Um, and, and right now I have the sound off like, like I said earlier, um, but if you look closely, you can see how it's almost like a, uh, like a purple. Yeah. Um, I mean, in, in person it looks a lot more purple. I put an orange one in there. Uh, in, in the video it actually looks really light blue, surprisingly. Mm -hmm. um, but and normally uh, this is a regular Guardian blue, like the dark blue, but with the color discs in, that looks pretty sick. So it's kind of like this light, like sky blue, teal-ish color. I really like that. And it, this is just with the color discs. I mean, it's very small change, very easy to set up, and it can make your saver look totally different. I really like that. And fair warning, if you're going to use them on a uh, high-powered LED, be careful how long you have the, the saber on. Uh, it'll melt the, the disc and give it a little warp on it. Yeah. Um, not a big issue if you're just turning it on to test the color. Um, Plus, sometimes the color disc can't get stuck in the blade, oh yeah. so you just kind of have to put your finger in there. Take it out. Not, not a big, big deal. deal. Um, so, I love the fact that I can get a saber so quick uh, and it still be very, very well made and such high quality. I actually ordered another two after I ordered my uh, Apprentice V4LE. Mm -hmm. This is the Aeon. Now this is going to be the lighter version of the Dominic's V4LE. Uh, it's, it's similar to that one. Uh, still, like I said, quality, the machining. Uh, it's just by far it outnumbers any scale of quality that I've seen before. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn this one on because I ordered this one without sound uh, for my girlfriend um, in amethyst violet, which is uh, a pretty unique color. Um, this has the 32 inch blade, uh, which is a grab bag blade that I got, uh, and you will not see any blemishes on here. Um, I mean, you would expect that a grab bag blade be used, uh, you know, or damaged or anything like that, but nope. Still has the film, still lit to the tip. Uh, and again, just, they're really bright, so I mean, like I said, yeah. any saver you get, like, it's gonna, the entire blade's gonna light up. Some of them, though, some of the regular great versions of the blade, you'll be able to see parts of the LED, especially in uh, daylight, but any saver with the light off, you can't really see the LED. You can't see the lines in the blade at all. It, it looks crystal clear. Exactly. And so this is the uh, my third one that I ordered. Um, I'm actually going to be giving this as a gift uh, to someone who uh, couldn't afford to buy an Ultra Saber, um, but really wanted one after seeing mine. Um, and this is the Initiate V4. Um, just standard. It's got the uh, guarded switch, uh, standard pommel, and this is in the blazing red. Um, really bright. I mean, you can see we've got a couple lights on and it's still really bright. And check out the difference. Um, I mean, just look at that right there. I mean, you just, you can see how bright it is. Lights up everything. Anytime, I mean, you just, it looks like a real saber. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> it, looks it doesn't get like any it. better than Ultra Sabers. <laughs> um, so definitely go to Ultra Sabers, get your lightsaber. They give you like these business cards of every saber you get, so that way you can spread the message about them and tell exactly. them. Exactly, and I actually ran out of these, so Emery, Corey, uh, expect some more buyers. <laughs> um, I've had I had total, I think, of 12 uh, that I got from buying everything, and and uh, I did it in separate orders, um, and I've already given them out. Uh, so. So the uh, Star Wars movie comes out next week. Me and him are going to be uh, dressed up. You got uh, Obi Wan robes, and yep. I got some Darth Maul robes. We're going to go in there, uh, ready to go. It's going to be awesome. I'm, I'm going to make some vlogs about that, but um, yes, these coming are soon. Look perfectly vlog of the Star Wars premiere on uh, our lucky day of December 17th. Yeah. Uh, for all of you that weren't able to get tickets for the December 17th premiere, um, December 18th. And we're going to review the movie as well. Definitely, we, we, we look forward to uh, seeing you guys with your Ultra Saber. Like I said, Ultra Sabers, I'm going to go ahead and turn the sound on for you guys real quick so you can hear it. Again, if you are listening to this on headphones, I'm sorry, it's really <laughs> loud, but I got to give you some... I, you know, it's just the quality. Um, can't say it enough, guys. 
Make sure to go to Ultra Sorry. Make sure to go to ultrasabers.com, pick up your saber, have it ready for the premiere. If you've got a video, share it with us. Take a look. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we look forward to seeing you guys out there, all right? Uh, links will be in the description. If you guys got any questions, they'll sh be sure to shoot them an email, give them a call, and we'll give you guys either a call right back or an email right back. Till then, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Yep.